This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's also talk about uh, the uh, the marketing surrounding WrestleMania here. The company is touting they've spent five million dollars to advertise WrestleMania 20, and Meltzer would say, or Wade Keller would say, really they're doing nothing more than fulfilling part of its contractual obligation to AOL Tom, Tom Warner. This is something that doesn't get talked about a lot, but as part of the WCW sale agreement, the company agreed to spend twenty million dollars in advertising with Time Warner over a five-year period, and uh, a source told uh, the Torch that the WWE was not obligated to spend $4 million per year, but it does have to spend $20 million over the course of the five years. So how they want to do it is up to them. But I think when people talk about the sale of WCW and then it went for $2 million or whatever it is, they conveniently forget all the other advertising that was included as a part of that purchase, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people just didn't know the, know the details. Right. The, this, the story was, and the simpleton's way of looking at it is that they – that we paid $2 million for the whole kit and caboodle. And essentially we just, we secured the library. That's what, what other assets were there to buy? Because I had to negotiate with the talents. You couldn't match everybody's contract. Right. I mean, it's, it was, it was, uh, wasn't even feasible. So, uh, but I thought that was a creative way to, to make the purchase. I thought that was pretty cool. Let's talk a little bit about, um, WrestleMania publicity, because it's in the notes here from, from Dave Meltzer that he thinks this WrestleMania had the most publicity since 14. And I realize that seems like it's out of left field, but in the context of understanding you had Mike Tyson being a part of your main event there. Well, that makes sense. You were at both. Do you think this had as much, or was it even close to the Mike Tyson press coverage? Mike Tyson's magic Conrad. He's magic, man. And, uh, he's the wreck or the wreck at the Daytona 500. You can't take your eyes off of. So Mike still commanded a lot of publicity. And I think a, a lot of folks thought that this would be the next phase of Mike's life that he'd be coming, become a pro wrestler. I think it was going to lead to that. And maybe even a match with Austin, which is great fantasy booking, but I don't think Mike ever had the desire to uh, get it back into the wrestling ring or get in a wrestling ring period and train and to learn his skill. Uh, and you know, he, I don't think it ever interested Mike. So I would say that Mike probably got more publicity Conrad than, uh, than at his paper, his WrestleMania at 14, than than this one simply because it was Mike Tyson. Right. Let's talk about the show. Here we are. Um, Finally talking about WrestleMania 20, we've talked about the, how we got here for about an hour so far, but to kick the show off, Howard Finkel introduces us to the boys choir of Harlem to sing America, the beautiful. Great. And, uh, they do a phenomenal job. Great. We see that really cool little clip of Vince McMahon and Shane and Shane's son. It was Vince's first great uh, grandchild. If you're, if you know the family, that had to be a pretty cool way to see the show get kicked off. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. History, heritage, the legacy, the whole nine yards that, uh, that choir, my God, the boys choir of Harlem. I mean, there, that was so special and, uh, it was great for them and their brand and what they do and the great works they did in their community. But I thought that was just a genius way to, to give it a New York feel, you know, in the garden, WrestleMania. Uh, and the choir was there. It was just really, really cool. So uh, it, ha- it it started off really well. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.